Hey guys, it's Katie. Today I am coming at you guys with my April wrap up. All of the books that I managed to read during the month of April. So I only read a few books, but you know what? At least I read something. And considering uh, like the second half of April was manic busy because we've got a date for moving, and all I've been focusing on is sorting the place, getting things arranged for the removal because there's a lot to do. It's not like you're moving from one place to another so that you just pack up and you leave. This is like we live in a site where you have mobile homes and this one is being removed so everything will have to be dismantled from this place like electric waters and all that, aerial, the electric pole, like the internet pole and like yeah it's it's very stressful at the same time as well as moving and getting everything packed and taking it to my aunts and then putting things whatever we can in the outhouse and the shed and also selling furniture because the new place that they're going to tow in and plant here is going to be fully furnished as far as I'm aware so yeah we don't need all that furniture so anyway with that aside I'm here to share with you the books that I did read so the first book that I read during the month of April was Video Rose by Jacqueline Wilson this was an audiobook that I listened to I borrowed it from my library and it was the same narrator as it was for Mark Spark in the Dark so again it was really like energetic and beautifully narrated and a wonderful story and I just sort of like think of myself as if I'm a child sort of thing and that the child would really really enjoy this so this is a story about Rose and she loves her videotapes and everything and then one day her videotape player breaks and nobody seems to be really bothered about it until this little man shows up and he charges like one pound and they're like really one pound and then the next minute Rose discovers that she's got some strange power where she can like fast forward the day and rewind the day and it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy and it's weird but it does give across a really good message I quite enjoyed it myself and that is why I ended up giving it four out of five Kit Kats the next book that I read was a manga and this is Persona 5 volume number one. This is based on a video game. This is the story of Akira Kurusu who is given the goal of rehabilitation and awaken to new power, the power of one's true self which is called a persona. So using this persona and the mysterious navigation at Momentos, Akira and his friends take on the role of phantom thieves, saving people from the twisted desires of those around them. It's the easiest way to explain it, it's literally written on the first little paragraph. So in this story we have Akira, he's new, he's transferred over to the school, he makes a new friend and then he discovers he had this strange app on his phone and he's like what on earth and then the app transfers him to this like alternate world of the school like it's a prison and he meets this strange cat like creature and they have to like find out why it's a prison and try and get rid of it sort of thing and also they're just sort of like well if it's like this then it's you know happening in real life sort of thing so they try to investigate things in real life as well so yeah it's um really interesting and then Akira's got this like power inside of him that he like never knew that he had and it's almost like it just appears out of his body it's like some sort of spirit and it's like well just reminds me of Shaman King when it's like that when you got your spirit inside you um so yeah it's really it's really really cool the manga retelling um volume number one i really really enjoyed it it's very entertaining and i look forward to reading the other volumes and of course i ended up giving this five out of five kit cats then i reread a book i was sorting through my books and i was filming my favorite books of ones that i've read and don't need to reread and i pulled out a couple that i really really wanted to reread this is starcross by rachel wing it's one of my all-time favorite books and it was written quite a few years ago now but you know what i read it and i still love it so so much so this is written in second person so if you don't know what that is that uh, that's like you know when you say like you did this the same as like but the book you by karen Ketness, like you walk into the room and like yeah it's basically the word you so it's written like that as if you are the main girl character and so we have a guy and we have a girl 
both their families are rivals something happened between them there are flashback chapters throughout this book as well something happened between both the fathers one betrayed the other and that is why the families hate each other and so the sons and daughters of them like literally avoid each other and so basically we have the main girl and she literally hates his guts and he hates her guts until like an incident happens where one shows a part of themselves which like reveals it's almost like they jumped out of their shell for a second of the hate and was actually kind to the other person but then immediately jumps back in to hating them again so they start revealing that maybe they don't actually hate each other and you know maybe that there's something else there at the same time they're doing Romeo and Juliet the play and of course who could be cast as the lead two people but the main two characters who absolutely hate each other so of course that will bring things into the mix but my goodness guys the angst in this book and the tension and just wait until the end of this book like just when things are like out and oh just the things that are said um it's just so cute like honestly the end of it yeah it's a romance story so you know oh man it's just so good it's so good i love it and i've reread it a few times now and rereading it again and loving it again like it's just so good so yeah of course i gave this i mean it's an ultimate katie star let's be honest because it's an all-time favorite i've reread it i love it every time it's just brilliant it just makes me feel happy inside and it's a book that i will always recommend and it's a book that i will always reread i reread it several times so how can it not be an ultimate katie star and then finally the final book that i read in april was listen to your heart by casey west this is another reread i read this when it first came out in 2018 so that's like three years now which is crazy but this is like probably my favorite of hers so far if i'm to be completely honest i can't remember i've got one or two that i need to reread and if they don't come up to this and this is like my favorite by her so far she has got a new book that's coming out literally in the month of may and yeah this is really good so this is about a girl and she in her school has to do this podcast and they have to put forward any like genres ideas of like topics and she puts forward an idea of a advice podcast and it wins and what she doesn't realize is that because it won she has to be one of the hosts she tries to get out of it but little does she know she discovers that she really really enjoys doing the podcast she's coming out of her shell and everything one day they get this mysterious caller that calls in is somebody who tries to distort their voice because um they only change the voices of people once it's been like recorded so they change the voice because they must know somehow that they don't like do that and they're trying to say like that they like somebody but they don't think they like them and like how do they show that they like them and like things like that and so she's trying to give advice and she thinks it's about her best friend because her best friend really likes this guy and so she's like oh this guy's got to be this person so yeah how can i set my friend up with this guy so it's literally about like a setting up of her friend in the sky throughout the majority of the book <laughs> it's so cute and just i really really like the main go character as well like cat she's just brilliant there's like a hate relationship going on in this as well like her and this guy called frank their families are rivals of the marina because they own marinas and they have this like hate thing going on and like that's really like yeah that's really cute as well like i'll just say that like um i won't tell you who she ends up with <laughs> but yeah it's just you know when i was rereading it i was like i can't remember who she ends up liking at the end of this so yeah i'm just gonna leave you it's, it's not until the end guys so but it's so good it's so worth it it's a casey west book that i totally recommend all the time and i'm so glad i reread it and of course i loved it and it's just it's cute it's adorable it's brilliant and i feel like it is going to be one that i'll reread really a lot so i'm actually thinking of giving this a k uh, oh, my katie star as well just because i reread it and i've loved it again and i feel like when i look at it i want to recommend it and like oh man just it's so good so yeah i think 
there's nothing that I didn't like about this book. It was amazing. So yeah, Ultimate Katie Star to this as well, which is a top favourite of mine. So I have you guys. That is the end of my April wrap up. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do let me know down below in the comments how you did in the month of April and how you're going to be doing for May. My May TBR is up at the moment, so you can check out those books. But thank you so much for watching. All of my social media links, if you'd like to follow me elsewhere, are linked down below. I've got Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, as well as my Amazon wish list, which contains books that I don't own. I'm forever adding books to that list because I'm watching other people's videos and I like the sound of the books and I put them on the wish list. So if you'd like to know what I don't have, have a look at that wish list. I also do gaming videos as well. I have a Twitter, a YouTube, and a Twitch for that, and that'll be linked down below. And I also host my own book club as well called read like a Kit Kat, which is over on goodreads as well as twitter so if you'd like to read a book with me for the month sometimes i do extend it over two months and yeah it's all linked down below in the description but yeah keep smiling keep reading be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye <laughs>